This particular video of four uh, tips that I've discovered, uh, been away from my DaVinci production. Uh, my wife and I have been producing videos on uh, Southwest Florida Barrier Islands channel. And I've picked up a couple things that might be useful to you because they've been useful for me. Uh, my number one uh, tip is that um, it is really a, a piece of equipment. And that's the Logitech MX mouse. Use a scroll wheel to go back and forth. Uh, I use it to uh, actually uh, make a cut by pressing on the, uh, getting the playhead where I want to make a cut, make the cut. And then also to, um, if I want to do a ripple cut, I've got my side buttons that I just press on that to, to take care of those. And I also have uh, on the thumb wheel down at the bottom to be able to save my project. I know that's not a big thing, but uh, it works for me. All right, let's take a look at uh, this particular uh, one. Uh, I'm going to delete this slide. Uh, and then I have a space here and I would click on that space uh, and delete that space. And as you can see over here, the audio track stayed where it was. Now I discovered this a little while ago. Let's uh, put that back in by inserting it. That if I click this little button here called the auto track selector, and put that on, all things will stay where they are. Now let's delete this this time. I'll delete it, delete this, and the audio track, as you saw, stayed with us. Uh, that's been a, a beneficial tip for me uh, because in the past, what I used to have to do to insert anything or to do any of that is highlight everything, move it to the right, uh, create a space, bring the slide in, Hopefully it's the right size and then delete this. And then if I didn't have that selector on over here, uh, this audio and many times even the text would be lost. So that particular tip on um, how to uh, use the, um, this particular little <laughs> device here, auto track selector has saved me a lot of time. The third tip that I'd like to uh, talk about is uh, <laughs> little uh, adjustment for editing that I picked up uh, using this uh, trim edit button also available by hitting the T uh, selecting your slide that you'd like to or or video that you'd like to encroach in this other area and when you get close to the edge push down and you see now it has one green slide or green edge to it and as I push it it elongates that particular video or slide in this case without having to go through the arduous process of uh, selecting them all and moving them and then adjusting your clip. Let's take a look at the fourth tip that I picked up uh, and that is dealing with the uh, text boxes. Um, I've always used the text plus box, uh, especially when titles so that I could go to and don't get scared at this at the fusion, fusion page. You can see it uh, and use this little gauge here to move my title around or I'll go over in the side to use it. But what I found uh, going back to the edit page is that in the newer uh, updates to DaVinci, I must have been blindsided by this and didn't see it, but there is now right up in the, in the corner, up in this corner, there's a settings. I've always been on the title side, never noticed them. It's probably because of all this black background, but if you hit the settings, you can do it without leaving the edit page. You can move your, make it bigger, move it as you would on using the Fusion page. So I try to avoid the Fusion, Fusion page wherever possible. Hope these tips are helpful. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else of, of that particular nature you'd like to see. If you're enjoying this video, please click on the subscribe button under the video. And if you'd like to be sent a notification of future videos, click on the bell icon. Clicking on the subscribe is free. It helps our channel. Thanks.